If you'd like to do the activities along with us, be sure to pause here and check the comments for links to download the printables and directions for the activities and the other materials that you'll need. Hi friends, welcome to our playroom. My name is Ms. Ashley and today I'm going to tell you a story. This is a story about being a good friend, playing nicely with others, and sharing. Let's take a listen. I can't wait to tell you today's story. On three, I want you to call out, tell me a story, please. Let's practice that again. Tell me a story, please. Are you ready? One, two, three. I would love to tell you a story. Let's check it out. Ooh, here are some characters in our story today. What animal do we have here? You're right, it's a pig. And how many pigs do we have? Yes, our story is about three pigs, but they're not just any pigs. These are special pigs. What does the pig have on its head? That's a hard hat or a construction hat. This is something you wear when you're doing construction or you're building things to keep your head safe. Can you pretend to put on a construction hat or a hard hat? Yep, it goes on your head. So the pigs are wearing hard hats. <gasps> the pigs also have something. This pig has tools. This pig has tools. And this pig has tools. All of the pigs are wearing hard hats and all of the pigs have tools. These are construction pigs. They're going to be building something in our story. What are they building? Hmm, this looks like a neighborhood. The pigs are building houses to live next door to each other. This pig is building a house out of straw. What is this house made out of? Straw, you're right. This house is made out of straw. The second pig is building a different house. What is it? It's a house made out of sticks. This pig built a house out of straw. You got it. And this pig built a house out of sticks. I wonder what the third house looks like. Let's see. <gasps> this is a brick house. This pig built a house out of bricks. This pig built a house out of straw. This pig built a house out of sticks. Good job. And the third pig built a house out of bricks. You got it. Straw house, stick house, brick house. The first pig is the youngest pig. He is kind of lazy and does not like to work hard. All he wants to do is play with his toys and play video games and watch TV all day long. His straw house is not very strong. Let's build a straw house with the little pig. Remember, we're not spending a lot of time. We have to build it quickly. On your mark, get set, go! I'm building a straw house.
the timer went off, so I have to stop building my house. My house of straw is finished. I'll put it to the side. Let's see what's next. When this pig was done with his house of straw, he went to play with his toys. I see blocks. I see books. I see spinning top. What kinds of toys do you see in the playroom? Oh, there's a kitchen. Let's see what the second pig is doing. The second pig is a little bit older. He decided that he was going to build his house out of sticks. He worked a little bit harder and spent a little bit more time on his house. Let's work together to build a house out of sticks. Here we go. I'm building my house out of sticks. I'm taking my time. I want this house to be stronger than this straw house. Good job taking your time building a strong house out of sticks. I'm almost done. I want to finish my house so I can go play with my toys. First work, then play. The timer went off, so I have to stop building my stick house and put my sticks away. When this pig was done building his stick house, he went to play in his playroom. I can see a train table. I see a dinosaur. I see Mr. Potato Head. What kinds of toys do you see in this playroom? Oh, there's a bus on the bottom shelf. Is that a helicopter? Ooh, this is a ride-on toy. What a cool playroom. Let's see what the oldest brother pig is up to. The oldest brother pig is a hard worker. He decided to take his time and work on building the biggest, strongest house. He decided to build his house out of bricks. Let's help to build a brick house, strong and tall and big. We're going to spend more time working on this house. Let's get started. I'm building my house out of bricks. It's going to be nice and strong. I'm taking my time to build the strongest house.
Ready to build the walls. Getting taller and stronger. This is part of my roof. Do you have a roof on your house? Almost done. Have to finish the all of the walls. Is your house getting tall and strong? Don't forget all of the walls and the roof. Oh, we'll even need a door. I'll leave this side open so there can be a door on this side. That way the pig can go inside. I'm all done building. Wow, great job. That was hard work building a strong, big, tall house out of bricks. This pig worked so hard that he was exhausted. He was so tired that he went into his brand new bedroom and went on his bed to take a nap. Good night, pig. Good night. Okay, are we ready to see what happens next in the story? I'm so excited. Wait, before we go on with the story, I want to see if you would like to help me tell it. Would you like to help me tell the story? If you'd like to help, say yes, I do, I do. Yay, I have a lot of helpers. Okay, in the story, we're going to do some actions. I will show you the action and then you copy me. Let's see what the first one is. Our first action is pretending to knock on the door. When you see this picture, we're going to knock on the door. We knock like this. Knock, knock, knock. Knock, knock, knock. You try. Good job. Knock, knock, knock. What are you going to do when you see the picture? That's right, you're going to knock, knock, knock. I have another action for you. Let's see what it is. Oh, ooh, it's a wolf. When you see this picture, you're going to blow like this. What are you going to do when you see this picture? Blow, you got it, let's do it again. Good job, you're going to blow when you see this picture. Okay, I have one more action to teach you. Let's see what it is. Okay, when you see a picture of this pig, you're going to go, Okay, we're going to yell and pretend we're running. When you see this picture, you will go, ah! Your turn. Good job. 
job. Okay, let's do it together. Ready? When we see this picture, we will go. Ah! Very nice. Okay, we learned all three actions. Let's see what we remember. Here we go. Good job remembering to knock. Good job knocking. to tell you about one of the characters in the story. We already met the three pigs, but I forgot to tell you about the very, very greedy wolf who lives in the forest. Greedy means take, 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 want, 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 and no sharing. It is not friendly and it is not kind to be greedy. This greedy wolf, <gasps> takes everybody's toys. Oh, look, he's taken somebody's My Little Pony. There's a toy truck. That's somebody's Rubik's Cube. And there's somebody's Holiday Barbie. Oh no, he has taken all these toys from his friends. Now everybody knows he's greedy and he's not friendly and he's not kind and nobody wants to play with him anymore. Oh no, greedy, greedy wolf. One day, greedy wolf came out of the woods and went to the straw house. He knocked on the door. Let me play. Give me your toys. What did the greedy wolf say? Let me give me your good job. Ooh, that is not very friendly. The little pig called out, you can play with me if you ask nicely and share the toys. <gasps> Greedy Wolf does not like to hear that. He said no and started to throw a big temper tantrum. He does not want to share the toys and he does not want to ask nicely. <gasps> He huffed and he puffed and he blew down the straw house. Oh, oh no. Ah! Little pig ran away faster and faster and faster to his brother's house. He went to the house of his brother, the house made of sticks. Knock, 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 knock. Uh-oh, uh it's the greedy wolf at the house of sticks. And the greedy wolf says, let me play. Give me your toys. The greedy wolf says, let me, give me your, Oh no, he's still being greedy. That is not the way to ask to play. Oh, he's saying, give me your toys instead of asking to share. This is not good. The little pig said, you can play with us if you ask nicely and share your toys. Uh-oh, Greedy Wolf does not want to ask nicely and he does not want to share. He's going to throw another temper tantrum. <gasps> oh, Greedy Wolf. 
Greedy Wolf was so angry that he blew down the house of sticks. Ah! 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 The two little pigs ran away as fast as they can to their brother's house, their brother who made the house out of bricks. Their brother let them in the house. Come in, come in, hurry. The greedy wolf is coming. Knock, knock. Knock, knock, knock. <gasps> Up, and here he is. The greedy wolf followed them to the house of bricks, and he said, Let me play. Give me your toys. Oh no, he has not learned his lesson. He's still talking in his mean, angry voice. He's telling them, let me play instead of, can I play with you? And he's not sharing the toys. This is not good news. The little pig said, you can play with us if you ask nicely and share the toys. The greedy wolf still does not want to ask nicely, and he does not want to share the toys. <gasps> we know what he does when he doesn't get his way. Here comes the big temper tantrum. He tried to blow the house down. <gasps> working he's trying again oh no he's running out of breath the wolf is blowing and blowing and blowing but the house is not coming down the wolf is not getting his way he looks around and he sees that there are no more houses no more friends. He's starting to feel very lonely and begins to cry. He has nobody to play with. He just wants to make some friends and play with toys with his friends. The wolf thinks about what to do. He decides that he should say he's sorry, ask if he could play, and remember to share. He's going to say sorry, ask, can I play with you? And tell them he will share. I'm very sorry for blowing your houses down. I'm sorry for being so greedy and so angry. I'm sorry for my temper tantrum. I just wanna play with you. Can I have another chance? Can I play with your toys and share with you and be a good friend? <gasps> the pigs are very, very kind friends. And they open the door and decide to give the greedy wolf another chance. They would love to be friends with him if he would talk nicely and share instead of being so greedy. <gasps> the wolf does a great job being a good friend they decide to play a game together. Greedy Wolf decides that he will follow the rules, take turns, share, and talk nicely. They all have a wonderful time playing together. The end.